São Miguel is the largest of the Azores Islands. Overall, the island is about 60 kilometers long and 15 kilometers wide. To explore this wonderful place, we chose to rent a car and have our base camp in Ponta Delgada, the capital of the Azores and home to the only international airport in the archipelago. Ponta Delgada is located on the south coast, approximately in the center of the island. Starting from there, in just over half an hour you can reach practically any point on the island. At the airport we rented a car at a cost of around 40 euros per day, and from there we went to the hotel. We chose to stay at the Hotel Lens. It is a four-star structure, equipped with everything needed to stay in excellent comfort. We spent in April 150 euros per night for a double room with two double beds, including breakfast. Our first excursion started with a visit to Cita Chidatis. From there, we then continued to Mosteros, and then on the way back, we stopped in Fatiras. Sidi Chidadas is a breathtaking natural wonder that captivates visitors with its stunning beauty and serene ambience. Known for its twin lakes set in the crater of an ancient volcano, Sidi Chidadas is a place where nature's splendor and tranquility come together in perfect harmony. Lagoa Azul, Blue Lake, and Lagoa Verde, Green Lake, are set side by side in a vast volcanic caldera. These lakes derive their names from the distinct colors of their waters, a phenomenon attributed to differences in depth, vegetation, and sunlight reflection. Honestly, as you can see, the day we went there the color difference was not so evident. Nevertheless, the view is anyway spectacular. At the heart of the caldera lies the quaint village of Sidi Chidadas. The village is characterized by its whitewashed houses, colorful gardens, and narrow streets lined with hydrangeas. In conclusion, this location offers an unforgettable experience for all who visit. Whether you're seeking adventure, relaxation, or simply a moment of awe-inspiring beauty, it is a place where nature's wonders are on full display inviting you to immerse yourself in its serene and captivating embrace. The village of Mosteros is a tranquil coastal retreat known for its dramatic landscapes, volcanic rock formations, and inviting natural pools. This picturesque village offers visitors a perfect blend of serene beauty and unique geological wonders, making it a must-visit destination on the island. Mosteros is nestled along the rugged coastline of São Miguel, surrounded by the azure waters of the Atlantic Ocean and lush green hills. The village's name, which translates to monasteries, is believed to have originated from the imposing rock formations that rise from the sea just offshore, resembling ancient monastic structures.
One of the most captivating features of Mosteros is its natural pools, or piscinas naturais, which are formed by volcanic rock along the coastline. These pools are filled with crystal clear seawater, refreshed by the ebb and flow of the tides. However, the advice we would like to give is to pay attention to the Portuguese man o' war. The day we were in Mosteros, we found some on the beach, most likely transported there by the wind. For those who don't know, the Portuguese man o' war is a marine organism known for its striking appearance and painful sting. Commonly found in the open ocean, it has a gas filled bladder which sits above the water and acts like a sail. Long, trailing tentacles hang below the float and can extend up to 50 meters in length. Encounters with the Portuguese man o' war can be painful and potentially dangerous due to its venomous sting. In conclusion, pay attention to Portuguese man o' war but don't miss Mosteros which offers a unique and serene escape for visitors seeking to connect with nature and experience the enchanting charm of the Azores. On the way back to Ponta Delgada, we decided to stop to see the natural pools of Fatiras. Tucked away on the southwestern coast, the natural pools of Fatiras offer a serene and secluded escape for those seeking to experience the pristine beauty of this volcanic archipelago. These natural pools, carved by nature into the rugged coastline, provide a unique opportunity to swim and relax in crystal clear seawater surrounded by stunning volcanic landscapes. Unfortunately, during the time we visited, there was construction in progress, which prevented us from entering the water. Nonetheless, we certainly appreciated the landscape. The rugged cliffs, verdant vegetation, and expansive ocean views create a picturesque setting that invites contemplation and relaxation. That's all for today. Tomorrow, we expect a visit to Vila Franca and a dinghy excursion in search of the sperm whale. Going down the right side, I think, or still staying here? <laughs>